Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at what's new in Oxygen 3.3. 3.3 is a bug fix slash polish release that focused primarily on some pretty significant UI slash UX changes. So we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna show you what all has changed. First, you can see I'm starting at a post list in WordPress, and that's because we've now added an edit with the oxygen button to the post quick links here. This is a relatively minor change, but it is a huge convenience item for anyone that uses oxygen regularly. So let's go ahead and edit the home page with oxygen. Now that we're in, you can see the builder interface you're used to, but we have a new addition up here at the top left, which is the hide button. So this allows us to hide the left side pane or the properties pane to get a full width preview of your design directly in the builder. Previously to see it in true full width, you had to kind of tab over to the front end and take a look and then come back and make adjustments if needed. Now it's much simpler and more streamlined to take a quick peek at your design at full viewport width. And then of course, if you click anything, you have a little indicator up here that says, hey, you might want to expand the properties pane out and then you can proceed with editing like you always have. Another pretty significant quality of life change we've made is class suggestions. So if we select an element and go up here, traditionally uh, to add a class, you just had to type the class name exactly as it was registered, which is fine, but it required you to remember the class name perfectly. Now, if we start typing, we're gonna get a list of up to five suggested classes that match or partially match the string we've typed. So if we go to atomic-sub, we're gonna get the subheading class. And you also still have your list of existing selectors down there at the bottom to show you what's already on this element. This, in my opinion, hugely improves the workflow of working with classes in Oxygen because you no longer have to commit every class name to memory in order to use it. As long as you remember some part of the class name, you can punch that in to the add class field and you're going to get some appropriate suggestions. Now the last kind of user experience change we've made is that we've implemented edit locking for oxygen. This means that when you open the oxygen builder, it will lock the edit button for posts across your site, templates, all these sorts of things. It will also lock the update button in the WordPress edit screen for the specific post you're editing. So let's jump back to admin to show what this looks like. So you can see we can't click update and we don't have the edit with oxygen button and we have a bit of a warning here that says it's open somewhere else you should probably close that one before you open this one uh, we can click open anyway to override that what this does is if there are teams of people working in oxygen they're going to know when another person is editing and because of the way global styles work, it's very important that you pay close attention to who's editing and saving content and oxygen because you don't want to have any crossover between saves. So this makes the multi-user workflow much, much simpler as far as communication between team members working on the same site. It also makes it much safer to make oxygen edits to a site that maybe a client is already into because they're going to know somebody's working in oxygen when they see this message. And they're not going to accidentally click the edit with oxygen button and make some changes that interrupt what you're trying to do. So those are kind of the major user experience slash user interface changes we've made. We also spent most of this release focusing on some longstanding bug fixes and polish items to make oxygen better overall, more solid, more stable, and more powerful than ever. So to get a full list of all of those changes, check out the release blog post on oxygenbuilder.com or in the description of this video. And again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. That's what's new in Oxygen 3.3. Thank you very much for watching.